up. Welcome to my bathroom. Today we are going to be getting ready for, you know, them Zoom calls that we're about to be doing for the holiday season. Let's get into the video. I have to prep my face. And by prepping my face, you know, that includes shaving my face because I have this lovely thing called PCOS. And one of the huge side effects that I have because of PCOS is excessive hair growth. All right, y'all. So we finished washing our face. I'm gonna fast forward to the studio because this lighting and audio is probably buns. So I'll see you guys later. To my skincare real quick. I'm not gonna put any of my toner on right now. Um, it's got a lot of AHAs in it, like lactic acid and stuff like that. So I just find that it kind of burns me a little bit and I just, I don't want to get irritated before I put my makeup on. I usually don't shave my face right before I do my makeup. I try to do it hours before or like first thing in the morning when I wake up, you know, but like I said already, that didn't happen. I'm using the Ultra Repair Cream. It's got cucumber in it. Oh, by first day beauty. I love this stuff. It helps with my um, eczema. It's got the coleidal oatmeal in it which just really helps soothe everything I don't use I use it but I don't use like a huge amount only because I am so oily and it is a heavy one but I love to use it on my hands my body um, I'm running out of it but I love the youth to the people eye cream youth to the people youth preserve by Lotus I do love the youth to the people face wash though some of this and what's happening in? I've been drinking coffee all day I had to get some water you ever forget to like drink water like I love drinking water it's all it's pretty much all I drink the occasional cup of kool-aid suffices but uh, pretty much only drink water that's one thing COVID got me good I ever since we got locked down I was like water you're gonna only drink water and you know it's been working Well, I'm drinking coffee now, but it's fine. And this is okay, you know? This is a good time to get rid of all those foundations from the summer that you didn't get a chance to use because we were locked up. I'm really putting this everywhere because homegirl just don't match. All right, y'all. So now that our eyebrows are done, let's finish off the rest of our face. We are going to use this... You know what, today we are going to be using colors that do not match me whatsoever. This is a we're not being wasteful day. We're going to use this super bright white concealer that I bought off of Juvia's Place. And I'm going to use this pretty much everywhere because we need to lighten up what the hell we got going on on this face. Gotta get that inner corner because homegirl has not been sleeping whatsoever. Just, you know, your anxiety just won't let you sleep. Like, all day I'm exhausted from not being able to sleep. I'm sleeping like only four hours a night if I get that much continuously. I just keep waking up. I have to go to the bathroom every 30 minutes. So I'm just constantly going to the bathroom. And I just won't, like, as soon as I go to lay down, I just can't. I just can't sleep. Like, my body does not relax. So that's what I've been dealing with. Well, for my family, we celebrate Christmas Eve because growing up, everyone worked at the nursing homes or they worked at the hospital. So in order to get, you know, that holiday pay, they would work on Christmas morning or they'd work overnights on Christmas. Um, so we would stay at my grandma's house, actually. Um, I, we wouldn't do it every year. I just remember this was my favorite year. And, you know, we were all roughly around the same age. So we... It was just us, and I remember being asked, do you want to spend the night? And I was like, yes. So it was like, I feel like five of us, five or six of us, like young kids. That doesn't include the older siblings. So the older siblings were playing, like, I think Nintendo together, like Super Mario and my grandma's extra guest room. And all of us younger kids, I don't know what we were doing. We were playing in the dark, though, and we were playing upstairs on the stairs and I could hear it now my grandfather Nelson he just goes get off the stairs 
So we were we were always like play around and running around. But that's like one of my favorite Christmas Eve memories. And it was just like I feel like it's because it's probably one of the last times that we were all together. And it was also um, my grandparents from Florida, and um, my grandfather. They actually got older and they couldn't travel anymore for Christmas but I think that was one of the last times that they actually traveled up from Florida and yeah. primed their eyes and now we're gonna go in with the pretty rich palette oh another Christmas tradition we'd open our presents at home with our mom and then we would just stay up watching Christmas movies in the living room or wherever and I would sleep in the living room and stuff like that so we would just like have like a mini slumber party the three of us now the tradition comes in because what we would do is we'd wake up and I think for like a good six, seven years we did this. We would go to the zoo on Christmas morning because we already celebrated our Christmas and opening presents. So I, to this day, am obsessed with animals. But my mom, we would go to the zoo on Christmas and they would be open early and we would go and we'd see the seals and you know, we nothing else was open, just walking around to see the animals. But we would just walk around and see all the animals, and that would be our Christmas morning. You know, my brother would stand there looking at the wolves for about 45 minutes. <laughs> you know, now that I live with my boyfriend, we have even more family to visit. So um, they stopped doing the zoo thing anyways, you know, after I grew up. They, they stopped doing it because when I tell you it was the best time to go to the zoo, it literally was because there was no one there. It was no one there. And you would get such cool interactions because, you know, the animals, you would be the only animal. You would be the only animal. Well, technically, we're homo sapiens. But like, we are the only things that those, like, we're animals too, right? Yeah. We're just still building up our eyes. And it really was the best time to go. But they stopped doing it because no one really went, you know, which sucks. I wish they did, but, like, it was such a good thing. Like, it was good while it lasted, you know? I love going to the zoo on Christmas morning. Because then after the zoo, we'd go home, hang out for a little bit. And then we would go to my grandma's for dinner. And then dinner. Because, like, my grandma, here's what she would do. On Christmas Eve, you better made sure you ate. Because she, she makes food on Christmas Eve, but it's more like finger food. Like, but, like, she started to, like, make ham and stuff, too, now. And I'm just like, yes, girl. But Christmas, though, that's where she has the fenil, arroz con gandules, and the whole nine. She even makes a salad. Not that anyone eats it, but she makes it. I love eating a good salad, but on Christmas, you better pass the pork and keep that lettuce to yourself, okay? I remember telling you guys this before. This concealer is a good full coverage, but it's got like that dimethicone filmy feel to it, and those kind of products beat up on my skin. You can see my under eye looks treacherous, like I'm annoyed. You know? For this next story, this story is going to be the most terrifying story that I've ever had happen to me in a retail experience. Under eyes look so good now. I'm not gonna set them just yet. I'm gonna leave them just like that. I'm gonna finish my other eye, my under eyes, and then focus on other stuff. All right, so think about it. It's holiday time, Christmas music is playing. Working that retail life day by day, getting the monies, and there's a customer that comes in. Okay? And this customer is in a hurry. And she just seems like she's in a hurry. So, like, I'm trying to help her out the best that I can. And then I'm at the register, though. So, when you're at the register, you can't be on the floor. Okay? You can't do both. I know some of y'all nasty people be watching it. And y'all can't be leaving the register. If you're scheduled there, you're scheduled there. <laughs> so anyways, I was at the register for that hour. And I couldn't get off the floor. I couldn't leave the line of people to go to the floor and help her. There was someone on the floor to help clients. She just was a little tied up. Which, welcome to understaffed holiday season. So. So. 
So, anyways, I tell her to go to my partner. My partner's going to help her out. All that good, juicy stuff, okay? She helps her out. She's waiting in line, okay? And, you know, my partner comes up to me and she's like, Hey, just so you know, I want to help that client out. Could you scan a service out for me? You know? And it's not that you get anything for the service, but the company tracks how many services you do in a day. Not by associate, but just in general. So, it's like a team thing. It's not commission-based, but it's a team thing. So, if you make your goal for that month, you get like a bonus, but it's a team bonus. The lady's waiting in line. She didn't actually come up yet. And she's gonna be the next customer. My partner, okay? She walks up to the other register to help out. That's usually what you do. You know, you're, you know, if there's one person on the register, there's no one else's store, you guys got like five people on the register. You know, you go up there, you help her out. You help with the line, you help bring it down. So she's helping me with the line. So I would then be calling the next client over, which was the client that was in a rush. She had to hurry up and go. All right. I see in her hand, she's only got some eyelashes and some eyelash glue. And it was like a cute holiday set we had going on. And all of a sudden, I had this really bad feeling. All right. So as I'm ringing the last client out before it's this, you know, this client's turn, my partner goes over to her and says that I'll be right with her. You know, there was other clients in the store and she needed to go help them now. So I'm finishing up the transaction, you know, she's waiting there patiently. There's no beef, there's nothing, there's no problem. Everything's great, you know, I gotta go on lunch after this client, everything's going great. All of a sudden I finish the transaction and my partner's standing there just like surprised. And I'm just looking at my, my partner like, what's wrong with you? And I go to call the other client up and I can't call her because she's on the floor, seizing. She's like seizing out on the floor and I'm freaking out because she's right next to this metal thing. So she's like gonna hit her head on the side of this huge metal box thing that's there. So I go over and she stops moving, okay? I'm trying to call someone to help. I got blood all over me because I guess she did hit her head on the way down. I'm trying to help this lady. And then her body's going gray, all this crazy stuff. We finally got someone in there after about five minutes. She's bleeding everywhere. I'm freaking out. And then she stops moving and like her body gets really cold. And I just remember freaking out like this lady cannot die. Like this lady cannot die in front of me. Like, no, I'm not gonna have it. So I was like, ma'am, like you gotta stay with me. Like, ma'am, are you okay? Please wake up. You know what I mean? And like, this is where like, I, I physically saw this lady, like all of the color went out of her face. Like she went completely gray. And as soon as I rubbed her arm, cause she, she didn't see, she wasn't seizing anymore. Like she was just laying there. So I start moving around. I'm like, ma'am, you gotta stay with me. Like, wake up. There's someone coming to help you. Like, please, like, are you okay? All of a sudden, like, like that. All of a sudden this lady jumps up. And she opens her eyes and I am like, I'm like next to her on my knees, like to make sure that she was okay. Because I had, once she stopped moving, I know you're not supposed to move people. And I realize now that that was a horrible idea, but I just moved her a little bit away. Like I like just while she stopped moving, like I just swung, it's like a tile floor. So I just swung her head away from the metal fixture. If she started to seize again, she would have like really hurt herself. Like, you know, I got, you know, scolded for that anyways. Like, they're like, you shouldn't move anyone. You shouldn't be touching anyone. And I was like, the lady looked like she was about to die. So anyways, the lady opens her eyes, okay? And she starts screaming like a banshee. Like, ah! And I was like, my partner is like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what do we do? I started screaming, like, not like a lot, but I was just like, ah, like, ma'am, are you okay? Like, you're fine, you like fell. And then like, we're trying to give her, someone from the other side of the store was trying to give her a rag to like, she's supposed to stop the bleeding. Cause like, there was blood all over me, like my hands, I had blood on my hands and I had blood on my uniform. So we were trying to calm her down. Cause well, I think she was freaking out. Cause I don't think she remembered what happened. But seeing the blood on me probably freaked her out. So she's screaming 
and like she almost gets like the fight or flight mode and she looks like in her eyes like she's angry at me and I was just like oh fuck like this lady's about to charge at me like I got so scared so like I stepped away I was like I was helping you you had passed out like you're fine now you just need to put a rag on your head there's ambulance coming to help you and <sighs> so she just calms down okay and we get her to sit down. The ambulance finally come. I'm standing behind the register because I still think that this lady is about to kill me. And, you know, we get her to calm down until, you know, so the ambulance comes. They said that they could hear her screaming from across the store. So that's where they knew where to go. Okay. And then after this point, it's just kind of like a blur because, like, I was no longer needed, per se. The ambulance came. Um, they asked what had happened. You know, we had um, loss prevention come in and loss prevention asked what had happened. I told them that I did get blood on me. I had to, you know, I had to throw my uniform out and like a biohazard stuff and like all that stuff. And like, that was it. I had to go on lunch and I went on lunch. I couldn't eat because I had someone, that was the first time that something had ever happened like that with me. So like, I was spooked. Like I... Me and my partner, like, we had talked about it briefly. Like, we had needed a couple moments off stage. Like, I had been crying. Because, like, I, I, every bone in my body thought that this woman was dying in front of me. And, like, I had no idea what to do. You know? Like, I didn't, I know how to do makeup. I don't know how to save someone's life. You know? So, and they were like, you're fine. You don't have any open wounds. So, like, you didn't need to go get a test done. You know? Because she wasn't a high-risk patient. Um. But come to find out, she had high, low blood sugar. And the reason why she was in a rush is because she hadn't eaten that day. It had already been 4 o'clock in the evening. And she had already been feeling the shakes, but she needed to get the gift. And that's what happened. She passed the fuck out because she thought she could hurry up and get done in that. And I was just like, just eat. Your health is more important, please. Um, but come to find out, they called head LP, and they actually said that I am supposed to be sent to urgent care, and then the urgent care would do a test on me. Even if the patient was not high risk, I still need to get a test done. So, that's what I did. I went and I got a test done, and I went home, and I got drunk. I got drunk. And now I'll update on the client. She left. She's fine. By the time she was leaving, she was pretty much back to, like, normal, you know? She didn't remember passing out, but she just, she, you know, like, she knew the answers that they were asking her. And, like, she seemed, like, in well state of mind. Um, but they still took her to the ambulance because, you know, she did pass out. But... That was the last I ever saw of her. Ooh. I don't know if this bronzer looks good with this super freaking yellow foundation. I don't know if I have a favorite Christmas movie. <laughs> I'm lying. My favorite Christmas movie is The A Grinch. All versions. I love all versions. And you want to know why? Because... There's different versions for everything. Like you've got the Jim Carrey version is good for your adults. You know what I mean? Most adults like the Jim Carrey version. Now you got the cartoon original version. And I love that one too. That one's just got that vintage vibe from the books. You know what I mean? Super cute. And I love the art. And I love the simplicity of it. Now, the newer one, I love as well because it's it's more child-friendly, you know what I mean? Like, it's got cute art, you know what I mean? It's very well animated, and I think the humor is good, and it's good for, like, a more modern retelling of the Grinch. It's the same story, and I love, love the dynamic they used with uh, Cindy Lou Who in the cartoon one. They just gave her more story, and I loved it, like, you know what I mean? It's really cute. 
I do have to say though, my love for special effects makeup is because of the Grinch, um, Jim Carrey, the Jim Carrey's makeup, you know, like, I was just talking the other day about it because we were watching, we're rewatching Lord of the Rings, me and my boyfriend, and he was saying about all the special effects makeup that's in the movie, and I'm like, yeah, they just, they don't make movies like that anymore, you know? No one's gonna know. They're gonna know. No one's gonna know. <laughs> it reminded me of a story. Oh no. We were, it was almost closing time, but you know, we had both talked about like going and doing something, like not together, but like we had both had plans. And I just remember she was doing her makeup and I was doing mine. And I was just like, layering on this matte lipstick layering it on and she looks at me and she goes i love you alexis but your lips are so dry please stop putting more matte lipstick on and i was like oh <laughs> and we were just dying laughing because like i was like girl i know my lips feel it all right y'all this is it for the look this is my glam holiday like gold look you know, we're looking cute. We got the Miami Lashes by Lily Lashes. Love it. I got my rose hoop earrings. Because what's a glam look without some hoops? All right, y'all. So that is it for today's video. And don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Don't forget to tell me what your holiday traditions are, what's your, you know, whatever your holiday story is, like what's like your craziest holiday story, like funniest holiday story, um, yeah. I will link my Instagram below, and I will see you guys next week, and thank you so much for watching, and bye!